Hello my darlings, welcome back to another video. So it's been ages since we did a hair tutorial and this is the style we're going to be doing in today's video. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm starting off by using these packs of braids here. And I actually bought two packs of these um, big packs. They come with about eight bundles in them. I only needed one pack for this hairstyle and actually less than a pack. So I'll put on the screen the amount that I used for the entire hairstyle. So I'm starting off with my hair a bit moisturized with some leave-in conditioner and stuff and i'm gonna go in and use my blow dryer with a tension method to just blow dry in this large these large sections so as you guys know it's been a while since i uploaded a hair tutorial and i'm not even sure what amount of my hair viewers are still here but if you're still here from those times just leave a comment down below that i will know and i did post this on my stories a little while ago and like I it was like the first poll that I posted in a long time that I got a hundred percent yes for like everybody wanted to see a hair tutorial of me braiding my hair and I'm not surprised and I'm so happy that you guys gave me your feedback because I probably would have done this style and not showed the video because I sometimes just think that maybe so many of you are not here anymore but yeah um so we're just starting off by sectioning off my hair all the products will be listed in the description box down below so i went ahead and i did these two off camera just to start it off because it's been a while since i did a braid on my hair so i'm a bit rusty and now i'm just showing you i just separated the hair so i take one pack of hair from one pack of hair i got about two and two thirds of a section it wasn't completely three sections from one pack it was about two and two thirds and as always guys i try to show you an easy method so this is the method that i use already in another video for achieving jumbo knotless braids or knotless braids any at all without taking several pieces of hair and as you guys saw i looped the braid by taking one third of the hair away and then putting it over the next two thirds and that is pretty much the method i use every time i'm looping hair i'm just taking some extra hold jam to just put on my sections now we just section our natural hair in these three sections i like to call them three legs and I like to put two legs at the top and one leg at the bottom, sort of like I'm making a T. And then I just place the hair in the middle. I place the, the hair extension in the middle of my three legs and then I just use my thumb to hold it in a little bit. This process is so easy guys, like it's really easy. It took me like about three minutes to put the hair to my scalp and braid an entire plait. The longest part was the parting and the parting was still not perfect but it took me forever to part these so if you ask me how long the hairstyle took i would say like two and a half hours and maybe an hour and a half was for parting i'm not kidding you it was like horrible i was not able to see anything and i just couldn't get it right whenever i parted it it was either too big or too small and i kept either taking out here from one section to put in the other section it was just a mess and yeah the longest part of the hairstyle is getting the parting down and you guys can see my parting is not perfect but when the hairstyle is finished it won't show so much and yeah i'm not even gonna worry about that i just love my plaits so this is the method that i find easiest so i'm just sharing with, with you guys i've shared this before in about two videos previously so it's just the same method so if you don't get the full step in this video i'll link another video in the description box and in the icons that you guys can also check out just to see if it's a bit slower there for you to understand so as you guys see after putting the hair in the middle of my three legs i just plait normal and i'm doing like an inside plait. i'm not plaiting on the outside i'm plaiting inward and guys please ignore my messy makeup i don't know what happened because i had on my wig before i did this style i had my hair in some cornrows because i actually shampooed my hair with my cornrows in that's how i've been doing it these days because as you guys see, if you've watched my vlogs and other videos, I've just been living in this um, this wig for several months and I just found it easy just shampooing my hair <laughs> with the corners in and it's been working out. Um, yeah, so when I took off the wig a while ago to start this braiding and by the time I undid my hair and, the, and putting on the, what do you call it, the jam to my natural hair, it just started to produce a lot of grease around the front of my um, hair. And before I knew my makeup just started shifting and looking uh, looking crazy so just ignore that <laughs> I'm just showing you guys one last time by just putting the hair in the middle of my hair and just plaiting you just use either your index finger or your thumb or whatever feels more comfortable for you you just use that to hold the hair the falls here in place and uh, um, after it's set in the middle of your hair you just continue to plait So 
so this is what the ends look like now because i use elastic bands to hold them i'm going to show you guys another method you can just tie them at the ends as well that works perfectly fine but if you don't want to tie them you can just use elastic bands so i actually did a poll in my stories because i wasn't sure if i should have left them straight like this i was thinking oh they kind of look kind of cool i could have just left them just plait them all the way to the ends and just hot water a lot of you wanted to see curly so that's exactly what i did so i'm just showing you guys now how i tie them before i move on to curling the hair so you just pull a small part of the hair away and just make a, a loop or a knot now i just applied this size perm rods to the hair and I also went ahead and made some curly pieces because I was like, okay, since I'm going to curl the ends, why not just give that kind of goddess look to it? So I just went ahead and wrapped some hair around a flexi rod and this is what it's looking like. And then you just hot water the entire thing. After it is dry, I'm just going to separate it by using some of this wonder oil. I'm taking a crochet hook and just pulling this piece in like a regular crochet method. You guys can see what I'm doing here and just making like a loop. So I went through one time through one part of the plait and I carried it around and then I went through the other part of the plait. So you just do it how feels, whichever way feels natural for you, just as long as it stays in. So I'm not tying it or anything like that. I'm just looping it around and taking it through separate parts or different parts of the plait. So this is a side without the curly pieces. And this is a set with the curly pieces so you guys can choose which one you prefer you can just leave them as this or you can just curl them up and of course i made these curly pieces with just the same braiding here so you guys don't need to buy any expensive pre-made curls it's so easy to make on your own if you want to just do that like what i did here and you don't need to use a specific brand of braid you can use whatever one you find in your beauty supply store or online but i use these pre-stretch ones that i found on amazon and they made the process so much easier so i do recommend them so this is the final look guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also remember to leave a comment down below thank you all so so much for watching and i wish you all a beautiful and blessed week